Okay, let's talk. <laughs> This is Alex Koloskov, your buddy from 4TG.com. Today I'm going to review this beast. This is Hansel Cito 500 flash unit with very interesting uh, characteristics. And going to talk about this and going to try it out. Look at this. It's beautiful. Simply beautiful. Wow. Stay with me for next 15 minutes and let's see what this guy is capable for. The whole thing looks like a military grade build and this is awesome. Why this is an unusual uh, unit? Why it's a special flash unit and why it costs uh, almost $5,000? Not by power, this is only 500 watt second, which is great amount. It's not, I mean, usually it's enough it's enough for most of the application for the single light. The most interesting feature is the flash duration on this unit. It can go up to 100,000 of a second, 2.5 time flash duration. And this is great. Even though it's not 2.1, uh, we can probably divide it by two. So it will be about 50,000 of a second flash duration, the minimum, but it's still a lot. It's, it's a very flash, uh, short flash duration and photographer with this uh, strobe uh, can catch a very uh, fast flying, fast moving subjects. Let's talk about features and uh, everything. First of all, this is a very well built unit. The, the whole thing, it's metal construction. Uh, plastic is very stiff where plastic supposed to be. Uh, all the buttons easy well to manipulate Hansel gear, uh, same quality, similar quality to Broncolor or Profoto. I was working for Broncolor for many years and uh, this unit, well, I think it's basically the same quality. This is the top in build quality. Okay, it is, um, I think it's Hansel only socket for the light. Here we have the ring that basically limits once it's uh, locked, uh, there is no way to pull things away. I remember it was an issue uh, with uh, pulse buff lights when uh, large soft boxes or large uh, and heavy light modifiers were kind of popping uh, because of the slips were not really holding them well. So this is long throw reflector. When it goes here, you see it locked by the ring and there is no way you pull, I mean, there is no way it can get out without uh, lifting this lever. On another hand, it's very easy to fit. Protective uh, UV dome, okay, and uh, well, let's turn the unit. It has, well, there is a fan, you can hear. Almost any button has two different uh, functions. One function is when you just press once. For example, FC, it's photo check, and uh, on other than, uh, hand, it's uh, turn off or on photo sequence when you hold it for let's say three seconds or well for longer than just one press uh, it turns completely different function the main dial this is the energy okay so this is full energy and you hear the signal uh, and we see everything uh, there is probe or full for the modeling light okay now it's the same but let's say if you put half uh, from the maximum it's a full and this is prop, uh, meaning that it's proportional to the maximum power. And uh, modeling light is uh, 300 watt, just a regular, well, it's a hollow hand bulb. We have uh, RS485 socket, meaning that you can connect uh, any device that use uh, basically uh, this protocol. Uh, COM protocol and uh, it can be anything you can well you can program it can be any kind of driver or uh, I'm sure there are many devices that can be used uh, with this but well since I never use it I cannot tell you much of this uh, this is TTL socket COM this is for probably some external uh, TTL device that you know what TTL do you know the off-camera uh, how to flash Many of them has uh, TTL mode, 
well, most of them, I would say, uh, where camera can cut off the light when it's enough. Basically, camera measures the light that uh, receives in the real time and cuts it when uh, desired exposure achieved. So it can be used here if uh, such interface exists on your camera or on your TTL device. Here is just possibility because the, there is interface open. And then uh, synchronization, right? It use large pin. And uh, there is also slave, uh, built-in slave, uh, radio slave, uh, and optical slave. Uh, this is optical slave, right? This is actually optical slave uh, sensor uh, that can be used to trigger the camera. Test. Let's run sequence in a sequence mode. It's an interesting when you can enter by holding FC into the sequence mode and then you can press, well, you can press the main dial. You can change energy and you can change uh, the frequency of the uh, flash. 10, 2, Okay, so what happens? When you press and hold FC, uh, it enters into the sequence mode and uh, you can adjust the power and then if you press, uh, let's do this, make sure that we are there. Yes, this is the energy. Minimum is two, two watt second, right? And uh, increment is uh, 0 0.1 uh, F stop. And then you press FC here, then you uh, press and you can change by pressing, you can change the frequency. This is one second. 1000, if you put one here, zero, zero, it will be one second. And uh, we can go higher, but we can go, cannot go lower uh, zero twenty-fifth thousand of a second, meaning that it will be 40 strobes per second. So it will do 40 for you, 40. Uh, and now if you press test, it does 40 for at the maximum frequency. This can be cool when uh, you shoot, for example, dancer or uh, some, somebody moving. And let's say within half a second, you can get 20 times the strobe firing and it will create this nice image for you of sort of motion and stroboscopic effect. Uh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so let me demonstrate you the stroboscopic effect, how it works. Let's have some subject. Uh, let's use 0.6 of a second shutter speed at uh, F12 ISO 50. And uh, we connect it. We are going to sync the strobe, our Hansel uh, CITO 500 with radio slave, okay? And what I did here, okay? I set up 19 strobes at distance between each, one second. Distance is 89, 89,000 of a second. So we're going to shoot with it and when nothing moves we see the picture right we see the picture and uh, it is like this just our subject with one light source okay uh, actually there is another light source that we use for the video light uh, probably i need to well let's move it a little bit like this you won't see me that well uh, however it will be more like since the Shutter speed is longer, it will be more like this. Okay, perfect. Now, let's start to move. I'm gonna just roll this lens across the frame. Okay, it looks like this. And uh, let's do one more time. It depends what you will see, it depends of uh, number of strobes and how fast the subject moves, right? Uh, it's interesting effect. We can always make it different just by, let's say, I'm going to change the distance between strobe, very short, 125 thousand of a second. Actually, it's one millisecond. Uh, this is the minimum uh, distance. And uh, 
energy it will be 19 strobes let's change 19 to 49 okay so number of strobes will be 49 oh it will be something like this so we're going to move for uh, roll our subject and it will look like this almost like a motion blur of course for still life it's probably not, not a good idea for something cooler like a hand it may be a little bit more interesting and imagine if it will be less strobes but longer flash duration and somebody will jump you will see the sequence of um, their flight so with this unit it's super easy to set up uh, and uh, do all kind of uh, shots like this okay so let's start uh, dropping some acrylic eyes in a bowl with water i'm going to use uh, some sound trigger uh, for this and we're going to catch using Hasselblad camera and uh, our C2500 uh, and we're setting power to be 5.8 f-stops okay from from 10 mirror look up uh, this is uh, how you shoot then turn on the trigger and So, I was trying to uh, use some lighting trigger, uh, I tried to use uh, Miops, uh, I tried to use, uh, well, this one, uh, which is Moa, but it doesn't really work, unfortunately, with uh, Hasselblad and Sony, Sony cameras, that other system that I have, it's too uh, laggy to, to catch anything that fast. Uh, let's see, let's see, this is why actually I was using uh, this sound triggering but it's okay for us since we can check uh, how actually it throws the splashes and you can see that there is no motion blur at all they are completely completely and actually i was doing yeah when it's in the focus of course when splash is coming out it may fall out of focus but there is no motion blur it's super frozen I don't see anything. It's really frozen. So, let's see some other tests here I was doing before. You see, it's perfectly frozen. It's beautiful. This is the best uh, I probably ever seen splashes because always, even Broncolor has sometimes a little shift because the motion blur. At the given power level, this is really great. So, this is where this Hansel CETO 500 really excels. I already see the potential and uh, well, you see the result. So here you go, your test for Hansel CETO 500 Lite. Very well built, okay? Built like a tank. Probably will work same time, <laughs> I mean same amount of time, uh, forever. Similar to Broncolor again, I never seen any failure from Broncolor yet, even though I'm using it for a long time and it's used. Then, extremely, flash, uh, extremely short flash duration at relatively high power levels. This is what you can find on other strobes. This is really cool. Comparing to Einstein, it close. I mean, you can do many things with Einstein, but this, that time when it cuts off the impulse, it's, it's very, very, mm, well, if you know the physics of uh, how uh, flash, uh, short flash duration being achieved, uh, the special trigger cuts the light and uh, cuts the tail of the strobe when it fires the light and here it's done so well that there is no motion blur and uh, this is the biggest and the coolest thing okay so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel uh, for other reviews if you looking for more specific and more interesting splash photography check out 40g courses we have some really unique courses uh, that probably you won't find anywhere else uh, with splashes with underwater photography for, for products uh, ink photography and uh, all other uh, interesting things talk later that was alex koloskov from 40g.com goodbye guys no motion blur whatsoever just beautifully frozen